Good afternoon, CPAC. My name is Matt Batesel. I'm the National Executive Director for American Majority. We are a conservative training organization that trains candidates, activists, college students on how to accomplish their political goals. My wife and I, we have five young children. Yes, I'm a father of five. I'm an attorney, please forgive me for that. I'm a grassroots organizer from the state of Wisconsin. I came to Wisconsin and in, in, on, came on board with American Majority in 2010. And we saw in Wisconsin, since you know, the last seven years, we've seen protests, rallies, we've seen recall elections, and we've seen conservatives win. And part of that success in Wisconsin was what we did online, the online battle that we engage in. So I want to share with you today some social media tactics that we use in Wisconsin that worked well and that you can replicate. So we're going to talk about five tactics. Number one, be active and consistent online. You have to be present in order to win. You have to be engaged. With multiple social media platforms being used by most users today, you need to be engaged with those platforms. And also be consistent. Be a consistent voice on the issues. So develop an expertise, do your homework, be an expert, do your research, but also be genuine. You know, we saw someone run for president who wasn't so genuine. In fact, she had some trouble relating with millennials. And so, you know, this tweet shows where she's asking for millennials to tell her what their student loan debt feels like. Tell her in three emojis or less. Right? We don't want to be fakers like that. We can be genuine. We can be real. So we need to, to be active and consistent. We also need to be positive. Look, there are plenty of negative voices out there. Let's be a positive voice for conservatism, for our values. We also need to get visual. So what we're sharing online should be visually oriented. This is why videos, and graphics, and memes do so well on social media. In fact, you know, vision is one of the strongest senses that people remember things more likely if they're paired with an image than just the mere words that they hear. This study shows, the studies show that. So that's why you should share and create graphics, share good memes, share high quality information with your network. But we also need to grow our influence and grow our networks. We need to talk to more and more people and engage more people in the process. So you get good at, at sharing on social media. Practice makes perfect, right? So spend more time doing it and grow your influence. On Twitter, follow more people that are like-minded who are likely to follow you back. So work to, to grow your influence. And specifically with Twitter, use all the tools at your disposal, right? Don't have a protected account. Let the world see what's going on. Let the public see what you have. So for example, let's say you were going to tweet about what's going on here at CPAC. There are several things you should do. So this sample tweet kind of gives you a, a, a feel for that. First of all, mention people. So at Matt Batesel says use at AM underscore national social media tactics to reach more voters. Also use the right hashtag, CPAC 2017. Ready, set, win was the hashtag we've been using in our activism boot camp uh, in the Chesapeake rooms th this week. Also, you know, t tweet at the right time. Tweet when things are happening. Tweet live at, at events. Put photos, put a visual image with your tweet. And, and make sure that you, you tweet it, you know, and schedule a tweet. Here I'm using Buffer app. If you schedule tweets, you're gonna have a bigger impact to tweet at the right time when people can see it, in addition to tweeting, tweeting live, right? So we need to be engaged in this, this battle online. If you wanna dig deeper on social media tactics, I encourage you to check out our website at AmericanMajority.org. We do trainings all over the country and can come and help train your organization. We also have online trainings that you can find out more information on. So, to sum up, we need to be active and consistent. We have to be engaged in this battle. We should be positive. We need to get visual and create good graphics. Spend the time to, to learn how to use graphics, to create good so, you know, so, graphics with the new software. Grow your influence, follow the right people. Use all the tools at your disposal. And again, dig deeper if, if, if you need to. There is a battle going on online. We see the mainstream media you know, covering things. The power of social media in this new age of social media, we can deliver the news that's really happening and the facts that we see with our smartphone. So let's engage in this battle and together, let's win the fight online. Thank you so much, CPAC.